Hey everybody, this is an unboxing of some new mud flaps I just got. Um, I'm really excited. I got these for Christmas. I've been waiting to put them on. I just haven't had the time yet. Uh, as you can see, I um, kind of struggled opening this. But I'd like you to, you to know that I did get um, some Rally Armor. It's mainly because they are brand name. And just take a look at the box. It's like really, really nicely packaged and wrapped. Um, so, and one thing I like about Rally Armor is that it's made here in America. Made in New York. Hey, New York City. But yeah, so that's one, those are some of the reasons why I got Rally Armor. Uh, I know Rally Armor is kind of more on the expensive end. Um, so as you can see, look at that. Setting the standard in mud flaps. It's like getting a new iPhone. It's like one of those uh, Christmas gifts that you get that are like really well gift wrapped. So you don't want to like ruin the wrapping. But anyway, so here's how it looks like. Um, so this first thing I p pulled out, these are spacers, I believe. And just the feel of them, it's very, it just feels like good quality um, mud flaps, even though they are technically just pieces of rubber. Here are the just, you know, normal brackets. They come in uh, zip ties. And here we got the uh, bolts, and the screws, and washers to pretty much help you install these guys to the the frame or the fender part-ish of the car. And now for the main uh, mule, right here is actual, the actual rally armor mud pop. And of course I got red, because red is my favorite color. Um, it's not as stiff as the other mud flaps that I've seen, but I, I, I actually like how it's more flimsy. To me, I feel like it's, it's supposed to be more like that. Uh, here is the instructions that it came with. It comes with beautiful visuals for you to help to help you install. Seems sim pretty uh, simple. Again, I went with the Rally Armor mainly because I like the design of these mud flaps better. There are these other mud flaps called uh, Roth Blocks, and they're going for $90. So you save about 60 bucks if you go for these guys. My personal opinion, I think these mud flaps are a little bit too rectangle-ish for me. Uh, that's why I chose the Rally Armor, mainly because I like the way it looked. Honestly, they both do the same thing, so it really is up to your own preference. Alright, so as you can see, my car is uh, pretty dirty. Uh, right here you can see where all the mud batters uh, behind my wheels. I took my car to visit my parents and they live on a dirt road. Um, so yep, yeah, it's quite dirty. And if you're wondering, I was filming this footage on an iPhone 8 Plus if you like the quality. And it looks like Fuji will be driving today. So, this is a pretty complicated uh, setup. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, this Rally Armor design to, like, install was well, a lot less simple than I thought it would be. Uh, so you're gonna have to align the, the brackets like this, and you actually have to bend the brackets to sit flush with the mud flap. I really don't know why... Rally Armor didn't, you know, bend the brackets for you, but you have to actually bend the brackets yourself. Um, if there's someone out there who's watching this video and can explain why this design is the way it is, or why they engineered this design, as you can see, the, the, you have to screw on the, the spacers that they give you on the side. Like, I don't know why they didn't just design it 
as so, but yeah, anyways, well, it doesn't matter, I guess so, but that's pretty much it there. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, turn your wheel, and after you turn your wheel, you're going to take off these screws, which is a, a T25 um, there, and then uh, once you take those screws off, all you got to do is screw in the screws that they give you, uh, make sure it fits on there quite well, and then just screw those guys in. For the back, it's really hard to squeeze your fingers in to get those uh, T25 screws. So I end up just uh, jacking up my car and taking off the tire just to get to those screws in the back and put on the rear uh, mud flap. So the rear is a, a little bit more complicated than, than the front mud, mud flaps. So you're supposed to bend the brackets even more than they give you and honestly I, I didn't bend the brackets because I just didn't want to do it. I am not a professional. I literally just put these guys on my car. Um, as you can see here in the photo, um, I just screwed the three screws and the washers that they give you and my mud flaps actually didn't align with the with the actual T25 screw right there and it's supposed to align if you had been the brackets but I, since I didn't I just screwed it in as is um, you know honestly I, I don't really care at this point because it is going to be on the inner side of my car so no one's really going to see that part oh yep guys that's pretty much it um yeah, I wish the install was a little bit more simpler because it was just mud flaps, but all in all, they look really great. And I'm pretty happy how they look like, and they do work. You can see mud on my actual mud flaps right there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, unboxing and installing and review of this Rally Armored Mud Flaps. And please, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Till next time.